break my computer. Yay, this is exciting. Woohoo. Silly dream. Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Krab. Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day. <sighs> now, what I up, D Donald? Is. How's it going? I can probably walk in before I go to work. That is right. You have discovered me. I have been dug up. Like the bottle that SpongeBob picks up. You didn't think I was gonna leave Absolutely for work true. without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now come on, boy! Go long! <sighs> oh. Longer! Longer! Video calls don't expire with Skype. Thank you, Windows. Thank you for the um. What did you dig up outside, boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, Orelsi. I wonder what that means. Well, maybe we should see what's inside. Maybe I should add more rewards. Oh, don't be That'd such be a funny. soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little peek? Just what I always wanted. A muddy little bottle. Just think of all the fun we can have cleaning it. Here we go. Arr, who summons me from my endless slumber? I'll have your eyes for appetizers and your insides What's for up, dessert, Sam? For I am the flying Dutchman. Thank you for the I'm TL. Sorry about that. Have fun passing Just out. Right back into your bottle and pass out to the sweet out sounds of so can... the flying I'll Dutchman audio channel. No, yo, wait, that should be a podcast. Treasure, the flying Dutchman audio I channel. True. What shall I do with ye lowly knaves who dared stir me up? Let me consult my rule book on ghostly doing. Hmm. In the case of accidental discovery and wanton disruption of my booty, the perpetrators must serve for an eternity on my bloody crew. Well, I ain't never been out to sea with a talking cheese block before, but rules is rules, so I gotta take you with me. Are you ready? Hold on there, Mr. Dutchman, sir. Uh, technically speaking, it was not me who found you. Uh, Gary's the one who dug you up. Ooh, that's a relief. This little varmint looks like he can do ten times the work. If he can survive my hypnotic spell. <laughs> oh, no, not Gary. That's not what I meant. Take me, 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 not him, him, him. Too late. My decision is made. Now I've got to check on the treasure stashed back on my ship to make sure no one's been spreading that around. But I'll return shortly to pick up my new crewmate. Say your farewells before I return. Don't worry, Gary. I'll think of something, and it'll be the type of something that will save you. You can bet on it. Oh. I could probably make a book about um, ROTFD that was like three chapters long. Actually, it could probably be much longer. I could probably write a full novel about this damn game. I've been playing it for too long. I know too much about the drama. I mean, fuck, someone made a 45-minute documentary on the game's uh, troubled development history. Which is depressingly underrated on YouTube.
Um. Oof, I forgot the name. I'll look it up um during the next load. But yeah, it's a pretty cool video. At least as I remember. <laughs> I haven't watched it for like two years. I think it was called the channel was better than normal. Hmm, let's see. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman Development. Who needs normal? Yeah. It's called the story the true story of Big Sky Interactive, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. watching it right now. <laughs> uh, I feel that. So this is downtown Bikini Bottom. How will I ever find Mr. Krabs in such a huge place where the streets never end and the buildings just go on and on and on? Yoo-hoo! SpongeBob over here! Krabs
absolutely nothing. I mean, I know that it's like, kind of like Pokemon, but other than that, nothing. Yeah, I I saw the whole thing play out. Well, I mean, at least I watched the the video shift made about it. I think it's pretty cool that they're using hard drive now. It almost makes me want to play PFPB again. You know, almost. Still pretty painful. Understandable. Yeah. It just takes way too much discipline for most people.
Oh my gosh. Thank you. I feel so appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. You got that two month streak. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know when I get more emotes, to be honest. I think it's just partner, but maybe they changed it. Oh no, they changed it. Right, I can get up to five slots, but I need like 40 subs for that, so not gonna happen. <laughs> Exciting. Nice, yeah. I, I, like, nobody else is playing Dutchman in the current day and age. I wonder when the last time someone else played Dutchman on Twitch was. It wasn't me. Just look upon this little treasure and let yourself rest. That's right. Sleep. Stepped on the bus stop again, dude. Yeah. Some people still LP it. Like, it's not like it's a forgotten game or anything. I feel like a lot of people remember it from their childhood. And it occasionally gets attention because of its, like, development history and people saying it's like creepy like once in a while a viral tweet will just come okay, up it's like remember this spongebob game yeah the whole game has this creepy aesthetic
Yeah. Not bad, not bad. I love visiting Sandy and her tree dome. Where else in Bikini Bottom can you worry about dying from all this air? That's strange. I don't feel as dry as I usually do. And I don't uh. need my helmet at all. Oh, the ground in here is soaking wet. Yeah, I mean, there have been a few people that reviewed it, and I like those reviews, but they're mostly, like, niche reviews. I don't know. There's nothing, like, super mainstream. I couldn't really give a review of this game. I didn't play it as a child, and <laughs> I'm obviously very biased. I could try, I guess, to take an objective view of it. Part of me really wants to make YouTube content for this game. I mean... No, nah, no worries. But, um, like, YouTube is where all the discoverability features are. Twitch doesn't have any discoverability features. And I feel like I could tell an interesting story about this game. Like, I'm probably one of the people who knows the most about it. Other than, like, the developers, I guess. My first video I uploaded of this game was in 2017, and I've pretty much been playing it on and off pretty consistently since then. So what? Uh, 2018, 2019, 2020, and uh, <laughs> oh, have you actually been doing that? That's really funny. I mean, even like my world record video on YouTube that's like 1.8k views, and I was literally just uploading a run. I think it was my 149.47 that got all the attention for no reason. And then my most recent one has like 70. It's like, what? That's just how YouTube works. Some videos get recommended, some don't.
<laughs> uh, I don't think my origin with this game would be super serious or super gritty. The game would have to be a lot more intense. At least for a speedrunning story to be, you know, cool. And have competition. I mean, I just pretty much improve the world record whenever I feel like it. Oh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Wait, that would be really funny. Could write some fan fiction about it. Like the mental torture Dutchman is putting them through. The store is really fucked up for a kid's game. Yeah. I mean, it already is a pretty intense story, it's just that it doesn't go into any of the emotions. We could make our own section on like archive of our own or Wattpad or something. I could see myself unironically writing fanfic about this game. It's story setup, like the story is really, it's not good, but it's an interesting concept. I feel like under the right circumstances, this game's story could actually have like emotional punches.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could probably make scenes pretty bloody. Emotionally bloody. <laughs> True. Ugh. There's so many Netflix shows I love because they're just absolutely mental. Completely insane. Yeah. Like, something like Orange is the New Black, where the tone is just always completely depressing, and the world has it out for every single character in the story. I guess except for Spongebob, because he does save everyone. You could, like, easily just make him lose the battle with Dutchman. And the story's a tale of absolute depression and misery. This game just has absolute emotional whiplash too. Like, some areas are just so happy and positive. Like, Jellyfish Fields is so happy, but then you have like the Downtown and Dutchman's and Chum World, which are just completely fucked. I'm swearing too much. Gonna get demonetized. Sad. Gotta just release the control stick. No idea why that works. like an entire cycle. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Dude, Flapjack was so needlessly scary. Like, why? That show always freaked me out as a kid. I don't remember a single thing from the plot, but... It's just so, like, disgusting and scary. I can't really do gross in TV shows. I just, it's not even that I can't handle it, it's that it just ruins the enjoyment for me.
Yeah. I don't know, I just- I don't remember a single time I laughed at Gross Out, but I'm also just not the kind of person to laugh at stuff like that. Dang. That's scary, dude. We're growing up. I'm growing up. My voice must have been so much, like, higher a year ago. I feel like there's probably a better word for that, but... Squeakier. Two years ago. Did you find me from ROTFD? I don't remember where we met. Yeah, I was playing a hat in time, and y'all said, and he raided, and y'all said, okay, you're gonna play Dutchman. And I was like, alright, sounds good. That was fun. That viewership even beats the time that some random guy viewbotted me in like 2018. I was playing BFBB. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Too bad that VOD doesn't exist anymore. It'd be really fun to see how I reacted to that. Because that was also during the brief time I streamed with Facecam. And I had a robe on. <laughs> Ugh. In fact, the exact same robe is what I'm wearing right now. Everything comes together. Oh, ah. Uh, I split myself.
The run has improved so much since then. Found JF coin, a bunch of other strats. I'm pretty sure that was before the JF reroute that we saved like three minutes just from doing things in a half decent order. being really nervous and trying to like over entertain but I think it was a good move just because when I'm suddenly such a big audience like you don't know what they will like it's weird because you know normally I'm just like completely panicked and I have so much anxiety and I'm like thanking the lord that they added self-serving kiosks to my grocery store because now I don't have to look at the cashier but I was able to handle 500 people watching me you know when you're streaming it doesn't feel it doesn't feel the same you're still in control you're in control of the topic of what you talk about and, some and critters are actually afraid it's just a lot like easier for me to think about get them back into my what I'm saying <laughs> when there's not someone else staring at me. Don't worry, Rusty. I'll hurt your I mean, back into I feel like if I was standing in front of 500 it. people, I would have panicked. Yeah, I don't know though. I mean, it's not like I wasn't aware that I had 500 viewers. It just didn't really mean anything to me. Well, it, it meant something to me. Like I was very nervous and panicked about it, but it didn't. It didn't mean. It didn't change that much. It just gave me more people to interact with, I guess. Oh, I forgot to split. Fuck. There we go. Ugh. Now me now you got me thinking about this moment in history. I was really excited when it happened though. I mean that's that that brain boosted my follower count by 80. I think part of it was just that I had follower notifications on, so everybody loved seeing their name pop up, you know. So everybody kept following. Haha, <laughs> true. 
I appreciate you. You have conversations, and I like that. I mean, you're definitely the most active one tonight. I appreciate that. Look out, chum world! Here I come! That's fine. Everybody gets busy. I mean, like freshman year, I was always on Twitch, but now I'm just like barely on it at all. It's like relative. Ah, pain. Pain and misery. Because now this cycle is booked. Okay, it's not that bad. It was sad to lose that time save over that. Understandable. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has their own tastes. Okay. I'll take the not losing time. This guy has fucked me recently. Nice.
Ah, holy shit. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> oh. If I if I wasn't sweating before. Like that wasn't great, but getting both tricks basically first try is a rare sight. Ah, you bring me pain, you bring me great suffering. Children's puzzle. Actually, I, I don't really get emotionally attached in, to the runs unless they get to this point. Because they usually all die on that split. I mean, that's easily the hardest split. Still got a lot of hurdles to go through, though. It's definitely not over yet. I mean, I probably just lost like 15 seconds of that, yeah. Pretty sad. Never mind, I guess. But Downtown 2 is a little, like, five minute reprieve. No hype? I think it's still hype. <sighs> Doing runs this late at night helps me so much. I have so much less nerves. I don't know if that's gonna go in. Please. Please. Sag. Oh. Yeah, Sag. Oh, I missed this. That used to be spammed. The sushi, oh well. Ugh.
Exciting. <laughs> True. I have no idea what that was. I can work with these. My lighthouse was like perfect in this in this uh run. This PB. Are you looking for trouble? Did I ever have orbs? No, I don't think I did. Uh, gambling addiction much, to be honest. I could do channel point, like, gambling, eventually. Alright, I have to do this one trick successfully. And it would be great. <laughs> that, not that one. This one doesn't really matter. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah, like predictions for runs. Oof. Please, not this shit again. Dog, I have lost way too many runs to this. Alright, I mean, that's like a solid 40 seconds there. This run's pretty fucked, but... Is it dead? Not yet. But... I probably just have to play, like, completely perfectly from here. My Dutchmans have been pretty bad recently. And 
This D Rust. Gotta step it up. Like, this was the double with the fastest strats. Like, I'm pretty sure I landed on the sign immediately. I'm gonna start losing time very soon. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about it. Ah. Not yet dead run. <laughs> True. Factual. Yeah, I'm losing time. Jellyfish and a thunderstorm. Talk about horrifying. Split was really good too. So there goes like another 15. Yeah, it's probably dead. I've been getting really good paces really frequently though. Why is he attacking like this? He's so slow. Usually he moves a lot faster. Oh, he's on the flank. I feel like Larry would be one of the better Spongebob characters for Smash. Sandy would probably be the best, to be honest. She could have like a helmet versus no helmet mechanic thing. Ooh, or even her, her like, uh, I forgot what it was called, but you know like the final Smash thing you get with the ball? Could. Make it the squirrel transformation from Hero Pants. I thought I told you to slow down. Just like... 
Great. I'll go. Are you looking for trouble? Get off the beach, runt. I thought I told uh, you to slow Didn't down. Steve actually make it into Smash? I legitimately forgot, but I feel like that's a thing that Are happened. You looking for trouble? Or was it Undertale? Getting closer. Looking good. Not slowing down. But definitely getting closer. Getting really close. Still not slowing down. <laughs> Too close. Must move legs. Hurry. Exciting. Ugh, good news for Minecraft Steve. I'm sure he needs it. Ah, fuck. That might just be the nail in the coffin. Yeah. I mean, imagine going to a tournament and being like, yeah, I'm playing Steve. Yeah, sad. I mean, there's always hope for one cycle, but I haven't practiced it in forever, so I wouldn't even know how to do it. <laughs> Not even gonna know what pace I'm on until Dutchman's graveyard. See, his powers have become as limp as stewed seaweed. Hey, go easy on me. I'm not the man I used to be, but I would hardly call this run perfection. But do not be overconfident. That is a very nice step. If you're going to break the Dutchman's spell over your friends, 
I mean, I can definitely start titling my streams WR Attempts, considering this almost got well record. Sure, the narrator said stewed seaweed first. Yeah, cause it's it's uh now I can't do this cutscene skip either. So it's a little sad. Oh my god. Cannot be Are you <laughs> I'm losing to Plankton, bro. I lost to Plankton. It's also like five seconds. Eight seconds to blank then. Sad. My dick going in and fall off. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any of this game's dialogue is good. No offense to the story team. Oof. Absolutely not. <laughs> this run is not world recording. It's gone. She's so gone. I apologize, Vegito. <laughs> the cutscene skip lost like 60 seconds, I'm pretty sure. So I'm at like plus 20. And then I did the plankton thing. And then I did the... The, the chum world thing. Unfortunately. Let's go! Who knows, it might be possible tomorrow. I, I'm just gonna speed through Dutchman's and see what happens. Although I still refuse to do Rock Warp. That trick is painful. I'm sad. I'm gonna eat another mint. Brace up, little fellow. Your friends are counting on you now more than ever. Only you can save them from the revenge of the Flying Dutchman. You're right. I've come too far to let I mean, I have now. all of tomorrow off, but I also have a shit ton of homework, and I want to relax because I work eight hours Sunday, so. Decisions, decisions. And that guy has shitty RNG for me. Maybe I'll crash, who knows? That'd be something exciting.
<laughs> uh, maybe it is a Netflix original. We got the title drop. It's wonderful storytelling. Nah, I mean, I'm probably just gonna do one more run tomorrow. For some reason, I've only had patience to do one run at a time. Maybe I'm just not in the right mindset, I don't know. De-rusting is always a little painful to me. It's like, I feel like I should be able to do certain things so easily, but I just can't. It's like my hands don't work. Way too many booty jokes in this level. They're so repetitive. I go oh, have you been learning the run? Dang, I would love to see you play this game, man. Where are you at in the learning process? Ah, fuck, did I just kill myself? Oh my god. Ah, pain. Spongebob went up, and I did not want him to. I am in misery. Oh my god. Yeah, she's so gone. Oh my fucking, what the fucking fuck fuck? Oh my fucking, what the fucking fuck fuck? Bye bye. Whatever. I think it's the best run I've gotten since the de-rusting start, so I'm happy enough with it. Probably be like a 133. Sad. I'm hoping to release a tutorial soon, so my plan was to get a new world record and then work on a tutorial, which might be just a form of procrastination because I'm really afraid of making a tutorial and then saying some dumb shit, you know?
<laughs> that would be funny. You just do it, bro. You just do it. Yeah. I mean, I could always update it, right? So maybe I shouldn't be so nervous about it. But... I'm just nervous about explaining too much or explaining too little. Whatever. I doubt anyone instantly knows how to make a good tutorial. I'm just going with the safe way. Um, why the fuck am I minus 12? What? What? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> I missed the cutscene skip, lost 8 seconds in Chum World 2, died twice, fucked up the coin route. I, what? <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess. That's possible. That's absolutely possible. him right now ah, who's afraid of the big bad dutchman you don't understand the book you borrowed from squidward was not completely accurate in fact it was a little out of date uh -oh. according to the new edition the treasures you gathered have made you mostly immune to the dutchman's powers but not completely immune so be ready for a tough fight uh, <laughs> i'm not ready I'm not ready. You don't stand a chance, square pants. I'm the flying Dutchman.
<laughs> yeah, true. Ugh. My man's awaited all this time. This is giving me such a headache, man. I don't understand this. I don't. I don't. Like, like, were my loads faster? <laughs> were, were my loads faster? <laughs> what happened? Did I hack? Did I skip an area? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> does does not doing the cutscenes get to save time? Yeah. World record by 16 seconds. I. This is making my head hurt. <laughs> this is bringing me physical pain. This run was so bad. Like, I mean, it was good. Like, this, the beginning was bad. Like up until uh, you know BD2 was things. bad, and then everything was okay, and then I failed Goo Lagoon twice. No, I didn't. I got- I did the exact jellyfish route. <laughs> uh, world record, I guess. Share. Screenshot. Yo! Thank you for the 100 bits. Ugh, exciting. Screenshot. Share. Let's see. This is a part of the game's history, boys. <laughs> True. You have witnessed history. And for like 15 minutes of the run, I was like, oh, this definitely isn't world record. This absolutely is not world record. There is no way this is world record. But here we are. It happened. I mean, if I could be like 90 minus... 97 on this. I mean, I guess.